Hello, my name is Katie Brindle and I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner and welcome to today's YouTube. Do please feel free to hit subscribe and send this to anyone that you think might be interested. There's a whole series of fantastic content where I can talk to you all about how Chinese medicine can make a massive difference to how you feel. And best of all, you can do it all by yourself. <music> Today I want to talk to you about how Chinese medicine can make a massive difference to how you feel without the need for acupuncture and herbs. Because really what I want to talk to you about today is about some of the basic concepts that we talk about in Chinese medicine and why that relates to you. Really, why should you care and why you need to do it? So I think the first thing that people are quite familiar with when we talk about Chinese medicine is yin and yang. It is indeed a symbol that many people uh, are familiar with and if not, here it is now. Thank you very much. So that is the yin yang symbol. And really what that is about is the kind of the polar opposites, which basically need to exist in order for anything to exist at all. So these are polar opposites such as male or female or day and night or hot and cold or the north and the south pole. And indeed, when we're looking at the body, when we first start to wonder why we're getting sick and why we have the symptoms that we have, is the first thing that we're looking for is a basic understanding of what is the nature of that pain. Is it full? i.e. is it like a stiff shoulder that's a full pain okay that's yang or is it empty and weak and cold that would be yin okay and the idea is that immediately you can start to paint a picture on the kind of thing that you've got going on purely by deciding whether you're feeling like it's a bit sort of stuffed up or whether it's feeling a little bit weak and wobbly now the nature of yin and yang is that really it is like the north and the south pole and for the north and the south pole to exist they have this kind of relationship of this like a trajectory that goes between the two of them that keeps them both in place and it keeps everything orbiting and spinning and doing what it's supposed to do now as a result of the interplay of this what then happens is there's always a slight level of kind of push and pull that goes on between the two, which means that you can have a myriad of different things happening at the same time. So in different areas of the body simultaneously, you could have some full conditions and some empty. And you may find that you will feel different things at different times of seasons or different times of day, like, for example, fatigue in the middle of the afternoon or inability to sleep in the middle of the night. These are all patterns of the imbalance between yin and yang. Now because of this endless trajectory that goes on of this sort of push-pull dynamic energy, what then happens is that the Chinese masters understood that that created five vibrational frequencies which in turn related to planets in the sky and organs inside your body. So suddenly not only have you got this kind of duo energy of yin and yang in the body, you now have five other frequencies as well and they are described as the five elements. Now these five elements are fire, earth, metal, water and wood. Now why do we care? Well, the reason why they were described like that was because back in the day when Chinese medicine was being explained, first of all, we weren't living inside houses watching Netflix. We were sitting largely outdoors, really relating to the natural world around us. So we understood the nature of fire or wood or water because we were very much attached to it. And in turn, we understood that seasons of the year also aligned to these energies and indeed organs inside our body. So fire controls the heart, Earth controls the digestion, um, metal controls the lungs and the breath, water controls the kidneys, and wood controls the liver. And then the next aspect of this that was so fascinating to me when I first learnt it was all about how these elements are like kingdoms inside the body and they actually rule all aspects of your health. They're not just about the health aspects that we have in Western healthcare, like the kidneys are the urinary system or the lungs are the breath. There is so much more to them. In fact, I started to learn pretty quickly that these five elements were responsible for all of the aspects of the health of your body, whether it was physical, emotional, or indeed spiritual. And that in turn, these five elements would create what I call the pyramid of health. Here's a diagram of that now. 
Now, this pyramid of health is fascinating because what it has is basically three different levels attached to it. Level one, which is the baseline, is all about your physical health. It's about how your body is feeling at this exact moment in time. Then, the next level is your relationships, your relationships to yourself and to those around you and to the patterns and things that we tend to emit from our heart and from the frequencies that we are giving out as a result of the way that we're behaving or the way that we're thinking and that that then creates patterns and emotional frequencies that tend to repeat themselves during the course of our lives often giving us what we call the story of my life, some of which which is good and some of it less so. But the point is, is that by understanding how these elements work into the health of your body means you can do something about it. Now, the final aspect of the pyramid is purpose. And that is really all about the meaning of your life and why you're here and what it is that you're here to do all of which aligns into these five elements and the five organs of your body, all of which are interacting with one another non-stop, day and night, in a constant holistic experience and a symphony of cells. Now, what's so fascinating is that the body is roughly three trillion cells as an organism, and yet every single one of these cells is permanently in relationship to every single other cell all at the same time. And in turn, that in each and individual cell of your body, the entire universe is housed in one unique cell, which in turn is then multiplied by three trillion. With all of this, you have a very, very powerful magnetic force within which you can start to apply some of these self-healing techniques by setting your knowledge, your intention, and then in turn amplifying them with your focus. All of which these amazing self-care techniques can actually offer you by just understanding how these basic things work. Now, how do these three trillion cells organize themselves and relate to one another and indeed create the body in terms of what it's doing? Well, it's rather fascinating because these five elements, which in turn relate to your five key organs, which, as I've explained, work and operate like kingdoms inside the body. These organs have what we call meridians. Here's a diagram to show you what they look like. Now, these meridians travel all over the body and what they offer us is an opportunity like a railway network all across the body for the kingdoms or these key organs to talk and communicate with one another and send their messages through this energetic grid which goes over and above the blood circulation and the way that we perceive the body in the West. Now, these meridians are basically like an energetic flow and it's into those meridians that we can work when we practice all of the self-care techniques that I talk to you about, whether that's gua sha or combing or tapping or qigong. And if you're interested in any of those techniques, do have a look at my other YouTube posts where I explain more about it. These meridians are amazing because it's into these meridians that we insert the acupuncture needles when we practice. And rather than you relying on an acupuncturist to do this for you, you can access these meridians via the skin. By using these gua sha techniques, you're in a position to activate some of the acupressure points that sit just underneath the surface of the skin by accessing them via muscle tissue as well as via the actual specifics of the channel itself. It really is the most miraculous system. Now, there is so much more to Chinese medicine than this simple explanation that I've just given you. There is more than a lifetime of knowledge or multiple lives for us to actually get our head around all of the incredible content that the masters have left behind. But all it serves to say is that this content is as relevant now to us in the modern world as ever it was to the ancients when these traditions were coming into the fore. So do please follow me here on YouTube and I'll do my very best to explain them to you. So do click to subscribe. Subscribe.